welcome to Desara's Prime Story Time. No, um, seriously, I'm doing this video. It's a response to a comment left by Tatimus Prime on my Darth Maul review. Before I get into this, I'm going to uh, the explanation. When I started up the Desira's Prime Plus One channel, I um, instead of re-uploading all the videos, I thought I'd cheat and just PM them from the original channel to my new channel. I did the same with the TF community. Um, turns out that when I deleted them off my um, original channel, they were deleted off the TF community and off Desirous Prime Plus One as well. So I'm left. I've nearly done them all now. Six A's just uploaded. That'll be processing. That's the first half of the Millennium Falcon one. I've just got the second half and Commander Cody. Then I'm up to scratch with it. Um, yeah. So now I need. So I've got new ratings, new comments, all the old comments are gone. It's a shame, but you know, life goes on. Because if I save the bastards. Anyway, this comment that Tatimus Prime left me, it was on um, my Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator review. Do you know what the backstory is on the Star Wars Transformers, how they came to be and stuff? Because he, he, wants, he wants to know. So I'm here. It is partly truth but mainly speculation I'm going to tell you what I know and then fill in the blanks with what I think would happen okay so the first one I bought was the Darth Vader TIE Fighter now on the back of the blister card there was um, a bit more information than you get with the usual ones um, um, in a bid to get the upper hand over the rebellion Darth Vader had his TIE Fighter modified and upgraded and stuff he didn't say and stuff and then it went out and say that he transformed his TIE Fighter into a mech mode giving him a victory over the unsuspecting rebels I think that's what it said anyway something like that then with the tagline no there's more to these vehicles than meets the eye anyway quite how he did this was never really confirmed which does leave the whole situation open to speculation and this is my take on it I believe that Vader would have sent gone either himself or sent his troops out to Cybertron to steal Cybertronian technology both of these series take place in a galaxy far far away no one knows how far Cybertron is from Tatooine or wherever because well in the same galaxies they might not even be in the same galaxies but both alien planets so blah blah Empire goes to Cybertron steal some technology probably covertly because how would a bunch of even how a bunch of stormtroopers handle a bunch of 20 foot robots they'd have to do it covertly so they steal it in the same way that the Decepticons came to Earth and stole, attempted to steal Earth's energy and all the other planets and galaxies they caught plunder. In response to this, after Vader's victory, now the Rebellion will probably take the Autobot route and just ask the Autobots for the technology so they can counter this um, Empire attack, Imperial attack. Um, much the way the Autobots protected Earth and in return were given the energy they the resources they needed. And then from there on the vehicles would have been created. Um, Vader would have had his TIE fighter made up um, and then um, because you know although Transformers are born and stuff like that they um, in the case of the Dinobots they were created by R Ratchet and Wheeljack from spare parts and in turn Grimlock created the Technobots from spare parts so there's not a lot of implausibility that's just my theory that's not the official explanation um, and then so the thing that would probably be a contradiction is if you wanted to follow the complete Star Wars canon and stay within the timelines Vader got it first yeah I've got the Darth Maul Transformer he came before he was around when Vader was just Anakin as a little 10 year old boy same with the Obi-Wan so I said in a review that isn't up yet um, the Obi-Wan 
they never did an Alec McGuinness old man over one toy just a few um, Ewan McGregor young ones so but then with all the time shifting and paradoxes and stuff it doesn't have to completely make sense let's face it in both Star Wars and Transformers there are things that don't make sense so that's my take on it to counter the counter from the uh, Rebellion Vader has a type of Death Star mech build any way I can think of it. He has the Death Star built and modified into a giant transforming robot. And well, like I say, this is just my take on it. That's just this speculation on my part. It's what I think happened. It's what you know. I mean, I think Hasbro could have come up with something like this to um you know go along with that because there's no tie-ins to this it's not like there's a TV series or a movie or a comic book or anything it's just straight toy line that's all it is it's like even the alternators they had a backstory jump they had a I think they had a comic strip with them and there's there a story that's I know that much for sure um, even the Marvel ones they um they weren't um, that's where Transformers originated weren't they? the series, the Transformers franchise originated with Marvel. So there are stuff that makes sense there, but the Marvel one's probably a story for another day. I could probably run my own little speculation on the Marvel Transformers. Especially seeing as they don't have any pilots. So But anyway that's um that's my take on it. If anyone else has got a different opinion, then please let me know. But I have had Tatnamus ask me this and I've told him the facts which I put out straight away and then I've told him my version of the story and um, I've done it straight face I do want to add some you know a couple of sketches into it maybe but um, Titanus doesn't like sketches and skits and stuff so out of respect for him because he asked me the question I'm doing this straight as possible that's about all I can say really on this matter like I say if anyone else has any other opinions and stuff then please feel free to comment and let me know what you think and is that grey? oh dear May 25 um yeah just comment leave a comment rate the video I mean my theory does make sense it's probably gonna be I don't know it's the only theory I've heard Tatamus isn't the only person that's asked me about this, so, you know, I guess my theory stands up. It's completely logical, it's plausible, and I hope, I don't know what I hope, this is an explanation, I hope this answers your questions for you. This is Dazara's Prime saying goodbye. May the force be with you till all are one and all that.